My name is Steve. Welcome back to my shop. I'm working on a series of videos of rebuilding this little S50 steam engine, the Stuart steam engine. And I've got to do some machining, remachining on the cylinder assembly. And I want to be able to mount it up on the bore. I want to keep it concentric with the bore. So in this video, I'm going to make a quick and easy expanding mandrel to mount the cylinder on. And rather than make it a part of the steam engine build, I think I'm going to separate this video out, just a short video, and include it in my Back to Basics series. Uh, so we'll be building a quick and easy mandrel out of a piece of aluminum. And the bore on the cylinder that I'm going to be mounting nominally is 5 8 but I measured it and it's actually 636 thousandths. So we'll be making, custom making a mandrel to mount that on. So all projects start at the saw. So let's go over to the saw and cut us a piece of material. Yeah, I want to make the uh, the mandrel a little bit shorter than the cylinder itself. It measures at an inch and five eighths long. So I'm going to make the mandrel. Uh, we'll call it an inch and a half nominal. I just made a mark on it at an inch and a half, so I'll turn it down to 635 thousandths. Okay, I'm at 7.38 right now, so I have approximately another hundred thousandths to go. I am at six, about six eighty eight. Of 
According to this, I'm still about two thousandths over. Let's give it a try. Yeah, gonna take just a little bit of a shave off of it. Okay, that's right on the money. Just take and hit it with the file, clean it up a little bit. a little bit more Okay, I've just got to undercut the shoulder a little bit, and then we'll be finished. Perfect. Goes right up to the shoulder now. Now I could at this point just use super glue and super glue it on there and it would probably work fine. But I'm just not a big fan of super glue machining. So let's set up for the next operation. Okay, the next step is the center drill. And I'm going to be, whoops, I'm going to be tapping the, from the shoulder back, I'll be tapping that for quarter 20. Uh, so I've got a number seven number drill. I'll be drilling it through with the number seven drill first. Now I'm going to drill it for the body of the quarter 20 screw. I've got a quarter inch drill and I'm going to just drill to a depth up to the shoulder. I've got the drill mark.
The next operation is to countersink this whole and I'll bring you back when we're ready. Okay, I'm set up with the countersink that matches the angle of the head of this countersunk screw. Perfect. What I'm going to do now is take this out of the chuck and turn it around because the threads are going to end up in here. And so what I'm going to do I'm going to have to tap it from the back side so I'm going to take my quarter inch drill, my quarter inch that fits the body of the screw, and I'm going to go in about halfway with that. And then we'll run the tap in from the back. I don't need that full length of threads. I only need oh, three eighths of an inch of thread or so. Mark my drill. I want to go about halfway. So I'll go about to there. Just eyeballing it. Now I'll set up with the tap and bring you back when I'm ready. Okay, here's the roughed out mandrel. The screw fits in it and we'll thread in. And the next thing I'll do is uh, split the sides so that when we screw the tapered head screw in, it'll expand the mandrel inside the cylinder. So I'll go get the mill set up and we'll cut some slots in it. I'm all set up to slit this now. It took way too long. I should have just done it with a hacksaw. If you don't have a milling machine, you could do it with a hacksaw. But uh, I got my slitting saw set up. I changed the speed. 
which takes as much time as the setup. And let's slit it in half. I set it up in my 5C collet block, so now I can just turn it over and cut another slot 90 degrees. Go deburr it off camera and I'll bring you back when we set it up in the lathe. Got the mandrel all set up in the lathe. This is the piece, this is the piece that I'm going to be machining. And that slides on there up to the shoulder. Snug it up with the screw. Perfect. Loosen the screw, slides right off. Quick and easy expanding mandrel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.